In this session, we're going to look at 3D shapes and nets. So a net is when you open out a 3D shape and turn it into a 2D shape. But first we need to look at some definitions. Faces. The faces are the outside of the 3D shape. So the faces that make up a cube would be a square. A vertex, or vertices for plural, are the corners that make up the 3D shape. And then there's the edges. They're the lines that join the corners together. Those three things together make up 3D shapes. So we're now going to look at some different 3D shapes and how many faces, edges and vertices they may have. The first shape we're going to look at is a cube. A cube has six faces, it has 12 edges and eight vertices. The same for a cuboid. So six faces, 12 edges and eight vertices. Then we have a cylinder. A cylinder has three faces. It's got the circle on the top and the bottom and then it's got the rectangle that joins them together. It then only has two edges, because the only edges that make up a cylinder are the ones that go round the circles. There's no edges down the side because it's curved. And then it has no vertices because there's no corners to make up a cylinder. Next we have a sphere. A sphere only has one face because it's just a ball. So it has one face, it has no edges and it has no vertices. A triangular prism. So that's a bit like a Toblerone box has five faces. It's got the two triangles either side. Then it's got three rectangles that join them all. So five faces in total. It then has nine edges, three on each triangle, and then three that join them together. And then it has six vertices, so six corners. They're just the ones that make up the triangles. Next up is a square base pyramid. This one has five faces. It's got the square on the bottom and then four triangles that join up to make the pyramid. It has eight edges and five vertices because it's only got the four corners on the bottom and then the point at the very top. Finally, we have a triangular base pyramid. That one has four faces, because it's got a triangular base and then three triangles that form up to make the pyramid. It's got six edges this time and only four vertices, four corners for the triangle and one to make the very point at the top. So now let's introduce nets. A net is when you simply open up the 3D shape. So it's a pattern on a 2D piece of paper that you could fold to form a 3D shape. So let's now look at some nets and see if they would actually form a 3D shape. For example, this first one. If I were to fold the edges up and put it together, it would make a cube. So this one works as a net. The second one, if I fold these edges together, it makes a square base pyramid. So again, this one works as a net. But this one, if I were to fold the edges, it would kind of look like a triangular prism. However, the rectangles on the side are not big enough. They're not long enough to actually meet the points at the top. So it would not quite fold to form a correct triangular prism. So therefore, this one does not make a correct shape. So it's not a correct net. However, this one would fold to make a triangular prism because the sides are the right length this time. And finally, I have this one that may look like the net of a cube, but if we were to fold it and put it all together, what you'll actually see is that some of the sides overlap and therefore we do not have all the faces that we need to make a cube. So this is not a correct net. Sometimes you may be asked to draw nets to scale. So if I have this cuboid and I've got the measurements on here and I would like to draw a net to scale. So the first thing I've got is the bottom of the net and that rectangle on the bottom is six by two. So I need to draw a rectangle that's six by two. I then need to add the sides. So the sides of my rectangle, either side of this rectangle here on the base, are six by three. I've then got my other sides. They're three by two, so let's add those on as well. And finally, I've got the top, which is another six by two rectangle. If I join all of those up, I make the net of a cuboid.